Alright. Shall we go on? Soon. We're going in the ladies' room to get a star. Perfect. Hey, Timmy, this is what the ladies' room look like. You ever wonder what Trixie does in here? Never mind. I, I shouldn't delve into Timmy's thoughts about Trixie. Hello? Soda machine. Gotcha! Oh. Yep, nothing. Is he going to come out of one of those? There is nothing. All right, and then up, we're done. All right, then star. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, camera. Thank you. Ugh. Ugh. I want to get away from this corridor as quickly as possible. Oh no! I need to open up those locked doors ahead. <laughs> the solution's obvious. It is? It is? Timmy, if you would. I wish? Um, I wish for whatever Cosmo's thinking of. What is he thinking of? It's not safe in Cosmo's head! Very powered jet boost! Awesome! Oh. I have a foot inside me! You had no problem with the spring shoes. Why do you have a problem now? Alright, now we have, um... Racing. Or... I saw the principal right there. Alright, Crimson Chin card. Crimson Chin card? It's easy to get complicated because they're not educational. Oh, I've seen worse reasons for stuff not being allowed. Like when my sister went on her fifth grade Philadelphia trip, they allowed you to bring a PSP with you on the bus. But they did not allow you to bring a DS. You know why? Because the teachers thought the kids would be using PictoChat to send inappropriate messages to each other. That's literally what they said. I'm not sure the PSP had its own messaging system, but... ah. Uh, they didn't allow iPhones, they didn't allow... Well, iPhones are no-brainers, but... When I went, they allowed DSs, so clearly censorship is becoming a lot more apparent. Or maybe it isn't, since a lot of Cartoon Network shows are rated TV PG now and contain quite a bit of violence. Like, not just Young Justice, but Steven Universe, Adventure Time, even freaking My Little Pony has TV PG rating, if I remember correctly. Oh, God. Uh-oh, you know what that means. <laughs> That's right, seven years, count them, of bad luck. <laughs> Seven's a lucky number, not an unlucky number. Shouldn't it be 13 years of bad luck? Catch me if you can! Hi, Principal! What's up? And what's over here? Oh, it's that secretary that was with the Principal in one of the earlier episodes. Teacher or whatever, I, I don't remember. And then books are falling down and picking themselves back up. How dare they, it's bad luck, they need to stay down, block our path, inconvenience us. Alright. Oh god. Oh, what? I don't even think I was touching that. Shit. Alright. Careful. Okay. So this is just a big waiting game. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hey, Crocker picture. Oh, God. Killer book cards, which are, for some reason, 
Why is it that we're basically microscopic in this library now? Because these books are- some of these books are bigger than Timmy! And why is there a portrait of a police officer in here? He's not a teacher. Run! Run! Oh! Shit! Okay. Well, we can't go there. Um, alright. More killer... carts. Yep, killer carts. And for some reason, it homes in on us. Oh, never mind, there's another one. Alright, there's... A sh OH! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, fuck! OH, GOD! Camera's not cooperating, lovely. Saw five lives. Perfect. Uh, we should be good. We should be good. Alright. Two paths. Which one to take? Oh! Over here, Crimson Chin Card. Crimson Chin Card? These usually get confiscated in school, because they're not educational! But you learned everything you know from the Crimson Chin! How much does he know? And apparently, this went to nowhere. Wow. Um, yeah. Oh, fuck. Run, run, run! There we are. But how? A kid like you should have been terrified of my book-based bad luck! I'm not scared of your books or your luck. Prepare to be magnetotronic! The only books there are to be afraid of are the ones from the Page Master. No! Keep it for yourself and use it! Oh! Or Aladdin in the Adventure of All Time, a movie that Phelous reviewed. Are you fucking kidding me? I just noticed they don't change the picture, either. Okay. Alright, we're good. Oh, god. Nice! Why are we going down a mysterious elevator? We went down an elevator that leads. Oh, janitor room. No, we had a janitor. Ooh, a phone booth. Let's call Timmy. I guess you should answer that, Timmy. And why is there a phone booth inside a school? I have no idea. Fuck. Hello. Of course, it's a Mission Impossible phone booth. You didn't sound convincing there, Wanda. I don't even know what he was saying, but we have to save. Okay. Okay. Out! How do we get out? 
There's no way back. I guess we go forward. Um, I guess we're in the back. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I guess we're in the Bat Cave for some reason, or I think it's more known as the Crocker Cave. Because yes, this is probably Crocker. Wow! There's the last Crimson Shin card. Oh, fuck. And how are we supposed to get up there? Oh, that's easy. So this is Crocker's secret fairy catching lair. That is new super secret <sighs> detecting and catching van. Wow, you know a lot. Hey, let's let the air out of his tires. Now, Cosmo, we shouldn't be encouraging such antisocial behavior. I've got a better idea. Since these anti-fairies are under our control now... There. One anti-fairy with my compliments. That'll keep Crocker off our backs for a while. Let's get the Crimson Chin card. Crimson chin card. These usually get confiscated in school because they're not educational. But you learned everything you know from the crimson chin. Push the big red button. And what does this lead to? Earthquake, apparently. Oh no! It leads to the platform rotating. All right. Long, weird dance school. Yeah, it was kind of oh, long. With Crocker. Oh no. Boy, is he in for a surprise? No. Wow. Oh, my beautiful van. Timmy, I think we, I think you were better off just deflating the tires. Yeah. Wanda, you allowed him to do even more antisocial behavior. And yeah, I know they say anti, but let's face it, anti is cooler. Because anti sounds like a little cute thing. You just refer to like, hey, look at a little anti crawling on the floor eating your pizza roll that fell on the floor. Anti is like something you refer to something serious, like antisocial. Um... Anti-Barney humor. Or... Anti-justice. Obstruction of justice. Oh, no. Like that. Not this time. Oh, God. Served you right. Okay, that does it. Aha! Uh -huh. What do you expect to do? They're always fun. That was a great day! Yeah, we kept Fairy World a secret, beat the anti-fairies, and collected some pages of the rules! Alright. So, yeah. We still got six minutes left, so why not start the next level? So we have two options. Time Warped and A Dog's Life, but... We'll go in there last. We'll do Time Warped first. Why not? I haven't even started to annoy you yet, and you're already at DEFCON 4! If you mess up my history homework, Timmy... Oh, you she has history homework! I gotta be honest, I really love history. It's one of my favorite subjects. In fact, you'll often tell me sto- In fact, in my Let's Plays, I often tell history stories. Anytime, um, I'm reminded of one. Um, but one hit kind of history I'm not really interested in is um ancient history, believe it or not. 
pyramids are like you know like the times of pyramids the ancient greeks uh medieval uh medieval england um pre-colonial america stuff like that i'm not really interested in the most of the stuff i am interested in is stuff that starts occurring like in the 1800s like the industrial revolution world war one the cold war a whole section on psychological torture. Wrong. <laughs> Me, so... the great Vicky. <laughs> that squirt's so out of it. It's like he's living in the past. Maybe it's because I'm interested in how we have all the technology we have today. I don't know. But I don't think technology should completely overtake society. Like... If you watch McJuggernuggets, he keeps making claims that, oh, this generation's going digital. Everything's going to be digital. My dad's outdated. He's an old man who doesn't understand everything's going digital. Honestly, I don't want everything to go digital. Because let's face it. Uh, when digital. Let's face it. There's a lot of cyber crime going on. Um, it's a lot harder to trust people online. I mean, it's not that you can't trust people entirely. What I mean is that people who communicate with you via messaging, sure do, huh? that's actually even worse. That's actually kind of even worse than um, meeting a stranger in person. I mean, well, meeting strangers in person usually ends in disaster, but online, people can be a little bit too trusting. And um, not to mention. If he believes everything's going digital in the form that games and movies to be distributed dig digital only and no discs, that would be a complete disaster. Because games will get de because a game can get added online, but should licensing issues or any bullcrap like that occur, the game will be gone, just like that. Gone. Cannot be a d gone. Sleeping with the fishes can no longer be obtained through legal means. Why are you so sad? So many games like Scott Pilgrim, the Simpsons arcade game, the X-Men arcade game, um, the DLC from Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, the DLC from Marvel vs. Capcom 3, the re-releases of Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2, they're gone. They're just gone. What did he say? With a physical release, at the very least, you still have a way of obtaining the game. If it's a digital-only release, if it gets delisted, it's gone. That's why this generation cannot go digital-only. There's got to be some kind of physical interaction, physical media. Because digital mediums, there's a lot of problems with it that unfortunately can't be ironed out without without creating compromises. Like, for instance, um, they can't just make it so that di digital games that get delisted can be easily copied because that can cause piracy. And, yeah. That's why physical ha physical? That's why this generation's gotta be physical and digital. It cannot be digital only. And it can't be physical only either, because there's a lot of advantages you get with digital, like communication away from other people. Online play can be useful for t at times, and yeah, there's a lot of benefits to digital. That's why digital and physical need to coexist. There can't be, you can't have one without having the other. If you replace one with the other, then society's fucked. That's that. A knight. And here's Sir Finkelberg. Why not? I want to show off my superior knowledge of science and philosophy and TV shows. Why is right, Cosmo? We could change history just by being here. There's no point in fixing Vicky's mistakes. But getting back to what I said about the trust issues online, here's the thing. You shouldn't be paranoid. The only time you should question it is if you're only communicating via messaging. The stars trying to get you spotted. And even that's not really enough. If the pe person you're communicating via messaging only uh, starts asking for your personal information, that's when you gotta start to worry. 
But if you're just messaging, like say for instance, some of my subscribers only talk to me via messaging, but you know, they ask me about the videos. They're not asking, they're like, oh, where do you live? What's your bank account information or something like that? Or, and they're not saying, oh, go to here, go to this website to get subscribers when the website can have viruses. Like, none of them are doing that, and they're fine. Like, the pe- But, the people you can almost always trust are the people who communicate to you via voice or video. Because you know, they're an, you know that they're an actual human being, and not just some bot or fisher trying to ruin your life. So... Three stars to go! Hey, I sound like I'm ordering from a fast star restaurant! <laughs> Fast star restaurant. Ah, uh, stupid puns. Alright. I just realized Timmy's dressed up like Robin Hood for some reason. I don't have five wish stars yet. And where the fuck we do we get them? Find more, then. Oh, there's one. Oh, there we go. It ran into me. Perfect. I want to find a save room door, though, because, um... I gotta end the video. We can't shoot anything. And there's a knight galloping for no reason. I just realized it has what looks like a Gryffindor logo on it. Fuck. Where do we go, Timothy? We can't jump over the hay. Uh... We can't shoot the target up there. Or can we... Sh I don't think we have a weapon of any kind. Um... There's nothing. We can't jump in the water. That'll be instant death. Um. Uh, oh, here we go. Only one star left. Wow. Something looks wrong. Why is that ground a different color? It must be a trap. Hey, that's medieval monk grass. A powerful remedy against the oldy diseases such as gray snot and posting toe. And probably the plague. Oh, speaking of which, here's some news for you, which is part history. Did you know the plague is resurfacing in Yellowstone National Park or somewhere in the western United States? We are going to die. <laughs> Yellowstone is going to kill us all. Not by the caldera, but by the plague. Wow. I can make a wish! This Sir Finkelberg, we'd have no time to play. Um, here's the wishing... Pad of wishes... Now, let's wish for a spray can to shoot that target! What you gonna wish for, Timmy? I need a way to get over those blockades! The path isn't designed for short people! How about some... Actually, it kind of would, because it's actually... Uh -oh. It's actually been theorized that, would that help? um, peep that many years ago people were shorter than they were now. What did we make? Like for instance, during the time of Napoleon, a lot of people love to make fun of Napoleon because of how quote unquote short he was. But in reality, he was the average height of an average. He was actually the height of an average man at the time, which was like five something, like in the middle of five somewhere. But now, like, the average height of a man is, like, close to six. Like, I'm six. Close to six. Like, I don't... I don't know my exact height, but I'm close to six. So, you saw me in the videos. My in my reviews. Oh, it's a grapple! It's not a slingshot or a spray can. It's a thing. How the fuck do we use it? Was a green and pleasant land, but this is more brown and oh, here's another history lesson for you. Did you know that England is not real, really called England anymore? 
It's the freaking grapple from Shrimps and Shin, but... But did you know England is not really called England anymore? Its official name is Great Britain, or the United Kingdom? If you, in fact, if you were to go visit England, and you started calling it England there, people would laugh at you, from what I hear. It has not been officially known as England since, like, the early 1700s. So, yeah. But this is before that, so they're correct in calling it England. This grapple is so annoying. A gate. And where's my save room? Somewhere to open that thingy. Aha! Hit this button. I can't open. Oh God! Is it? Is that a? <laughs> is that Excalibur? I want to go back because. I want to give Sir Finkelberg the chance to pull Excalibur out, and meanwhile I want to go back and see... Oh, we have to be on the red X. That's why it's not working. Oh, okay. Alright. Hello, wishing... Oh, no. Oh uh, no. That kind of sucks. We just wasted some time. Going to a place we can't go back. Actually, Timmy looks more like Peter Pan. Of course, I gotta remind me of the Phoenix Games production I saw. Where Peter Pan had those freaking dirt eyes. The Sword and the Stone, the name of the last Disney movie made while Walt Di no, re made and released while Walt Disney was still alive. He died in the middle of production of The Jungle Book, and that movie got dedicated in his memory. And his death screwed Disney over for quite some time since they had no idea what to do. And, it, and they did not recover until 1989 with The Little Mermaid. Or at least not fully recover. The sword, then keep pulling really fast to help us with our magic. Oh no, we got button mashing. I'll try what Never mind, we're fine. Wow, Timmy is King Arthur now, apparently. And we turned into King Arthur for some reason. He must be the true king of England. I must tell everyone. This guard just saw Arthur pull out the sword. The magic wore off. Timmy. Why does Arthur wear glasses? Glasses did not exist back then. In the episode, it made sense because Timmy conjured up glasses for him. And you know, he needed glasses to see. He needed glasses to breathe. Okay. Well, we didn't have to. Alright. Are we almost done? We're at the half hour mark. No, I mean, are we almost to a save room? We got a life over there. Which is probably going to go away when we save the game. But we can come over here. There's a knight. There's a Crimson Gin card. Which we can't get to. There's a save room! Finally! I'm sorry! I'm going to cancel for now. Oh, no! Here! All right. Now save. Oh.
Anyway, we'll continue this medieval adventure in the next video.